right, real quick here. Welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be our message for today, April 26, 2023. I do hope the message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. And let's see what the spirits have for us today. I'm going to start posting the uh, May readings for all of the signs this week. So you can look forward to that. My phone's going dead, so I know I don't have a lot of time before this cuts off. Uh, Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell to be notified when the readings are posted on my channel. Shuffling for the collective May 26th. Why is that May 26th? Someone could be born on May 26th or May 26th could be significant, okay? Um, one month from now. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. The number eight in Virgo energy is showing up, Okay. So, um, someone could be a Virgo, um, tower card showing up at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone's experiencing an unexpected collapse. Okay. And it could be a financial collapse. Okay. Or collectively we could see during this time, um, during the next month, we could see a huge economic collapse in, um, our collective world. Okay. But someone's going through some financial transformations. Okay. I feel like spirit is saying, just let it happen. All right. Yeah, someone didn't see something coming with the moon card financially, okay? Someone's depressed about money or finances. Someone's going through a financial tower moment. Someone bit off more than they can chew or someone racked up a lot of debt and now you're trying to figure out like how you're going to get yourself out of that debt or something like that, okay? Um, someone had some debt to pay off, okay? Someone's depressed. Someone's in their feelings with this moon card, okay? Someone's feeling low. They're feeling anxious, okay? Someone doesn't know how they're going to pay their bills, okay? Who is this? Okay, this could be someone born on May 26th or the 26th day of any month, okay? And 26 is 8 as well. Yeah, it's all going to be okay. You need to have hope, okay? I feel like you are... I'm going through a major transformation regarding your money, but I feel like it's not nothing that you need to let yourself worry too much about with the star card here, okay? Um, the star card always reminds me of the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, all right? So there's definitely something that you need to release the control over, okay? But have hope, have faith, all right? Yeah. The nine of wands here, there's a certain ending that's happening in terms of your finances, okay? And you're taking it hard, okay? You um, you need to work. You need to put in the work to make the changes because whatever got you to this point is why you're here, okay? Whatever habits that you have that got you to this point of being in this financial situation in the first place is why you're going through the tower moment financially. So you really need to eva evaluate your life and make the necessary changes, okay? When it comes to your life with this nine of wands here, okay? And the nine is endings. I feel like you're gonna have to sacrifice something collective. You're gonna have to let something go. Uh, for some of you, this could be a car, a vehicle, um, something that you're paying for. You're gonna have to let it go, okay? Some of you, it could be your home. You're gonna have to let it go because it's, it's, it's too much for you right now. But it's all happening for a good reason. Yeah, you see how the um the King of Pentacles came out in reverse. Okay, there's a there's a something shaking up your fine foundation collective. I can't even talk today. Something shaking up your foundation. Okay, and this could also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a water sign because it is in reverse and the opposite of earth is water. So a water sign could be going through something where they have to make a sacrifice for the greater good, okay? Someone has to let go of something. For some of you, this is a relationship that's putting a damper on your finances. Some of you, this is a bill. Some of you, this is um, a job that's not paying you enough, but you're gonna have to let go of something to get what's actually for you with the Wheel of Fortune card, okay? So do expect to have to make a huge sacrifice and it's probably not gonna be a sacrifice that you wanna make. You're probably not gonna have to do what's required of you, but you have to do it anyways if you wanna get yourself out of this repetitive cycle, okay? With the Nine of Wands here, yeah, the Magician card in reverse, you're not manifesting the way you want to right now. Someone's being blocked, okay? Someone's going through a, a financial awakening, okay? Yeah, the number six um, here, the six of wands. You will be victorious in the end, okay? Collective, you will be victorious in the end. You have to make the sacrifice, okay? You have to give up something. Give up eating out. 
give up buying the shoes, give up buying the clothes. You have to give up something. You're like, you're in debt right now. And for some of you, this is not financially. For some of you, this is spiritual debt. And you're being isolated. Yeah. Look, five of wands, arguments, conflict, eight of cups here, imbalance, nine of pentacles again. You need financial independence and financial freedom. Okay. Now, some of you are, like I said, this has nothing to do with money. This has everything to do with karmic debt that you've racked up. And for some of you, this is your person. Okay. With this karmic debt. Leo energy here. All right. Someone has a lot of debt that they have to pay. Someone owes a, a lot of people things, apologies, closures. Um, someone just went through life being very reckless and now you have all of this debt. Okay. Six of cups. This could be a child. Okay. Or this could be something from your childhood coming back around, or this could be someone that you have a child with, but someone's thinking about the past. Someone thinking about the way that things used to be. Someone is wishing that they would have did things differently. I'm getting R. Kelly. If I could turn back the hands of times. Okay. So someone definitely, um, dealt with some, uh, childhood molestation, like some violation, sexual assault or something. God bless you. Okay. But someone that's coming up for me. Okay. As soon as I said R. Kelly spirits, like, yeah, someone like someone is trying to heal for, and I feel like you're abuser, whoever, if you have an abuser, this abuser is, they're about to have to pay for what they did to you or something. Someone's getting caught up. Okay. The five of wands here is the conflict card, the fighting card, the arguing card, the getting caught up in drama. With This is a Saturn card, okay? So there's a lot of mess going on here, okay? But there's something from your childhood coming back around, some, some form of abuse, okay? Some form of abuse. Like I said, for some of you, this isn't even financial, yeah. Page of Cups, okay? There's some news coming in. A news about... And this is going to be good news for some of you, okay? A news that you finally get justice for something that was done to you that wasn't fair, okay? Some type of violation. Ace of uh, Swords in reverse. You do lack clarity right now. The World card in reverse. There's a cycle that's repeating, okay? There's a lack of di direction in your life right now. I feel like... What this reading is saying is that for many of you, you're stuck in a situation that you don't necessarily know how to get yourself out of. The only way out is to make a huge sacrifice and it's not something that you want to do, but you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to take a loss, okay, is what I'm hearing. You're going to have to take a loss or, or either you're going to end up repeating the cycle. It's never going to end. It's going to be like the never ending story, okay? You might need to go watch that movie, The Never Ending Story. But R. Kelly is a Capricorn as well. So someone could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Someone's name could be Kelly. I'm getting Kelly.